Hello friends, what is up? I am here, it is me, I am back in my kitchen doing what I love to do. I'm gonna check the volume real quick, make sure this is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so if you don't know me, I am Dr. Lisa Leslie Williams, founder of thedomesticlifestyles.com, giving you whole foods and whole recipes for whole and intentional living. And it's actually dinner time now, so I thought it would be fun for you to come with me and see what I am cooking for my family for dinner tonight. Yes, it is indeed a nice summer evening. So in, in the summers, we tend to do a lot of salads and delicious things like that. And I want to show you how easy and quick you too can have dinner ready for your family. So before I get started, I want to tell you one of these things, which is very important. This live session, this cooking event is sponsored by Purdue. I am a Purdue influencer and I work with them. They send me yummy, good, tasty, premium protein and I pack up my freezer and then I cook stuff and it tastes good and then I tell you about it. So that's what we're doing today. Yay! So what I'm using today are the ch uh, Purdue chicken breasts, right? They actually have give me one second I want to go off camera to show you what I'm using uh, they actually have diced chicken breast that's already like skinless and boneless and it comes in cuts and so uh, when I recently got my Purdue order I had that in there so it makes getting dinner on the table easy if you can see that right so that's what I have that's what I'm using for dinner tonight so this should be quick and easy to make so this is my, actually I married this, I had the diced chicken breast, but I married it with some other um, Purdue chicken that I had, right? So I cut some up on my own because I didn't have enough of the diced chicken breast, but you can do whatever you want. What I like to do, I like to put the chicken in the fridge in the beginning, uh, like, you know, a day or two before, so that that way I can get quick meals on the table fast. If you're looking for the recipe, the recipe is called the best curry chicken salad. It can be found on the domesticlifestyles.com and hopefully that link will be dropped there soon. Also, in terms of Purdue and their premium proteins, listen to this though. Right now as we're recording, as I'm recording this live, you know that we're still in the midst of a pandemic. I know not everybody's acting that way, but we still are. Uh, you know what? Guess what? As I'm here talking, one of these uh, push notifications came through to my phone telling me how many more cases we have in my county. It's like they heard me or something. But anyway, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. I'm not sure where you stand in terms of going to the grocery store. If you're going to the grocery store, limiting your visits, whatever, this is a great way to limit your visits to the grocery store. Because guess what? Can I have that box, please? I want to show them the box. Because guess what? You can get the chicken delivered straight to your door. Um, you can pick whatever you'd like. My delivery came in a box like this, a hefty old box, and it's nice and packed really well with this foam that, that can um, actually disintegrate in your sink. Each order you get comes with this nice canvas bag, right? Right, because you know we all are trying to have things be environmentally friendly. So you get one of these shopping bags every time you order. And then as you can see, at the corner, they have a little Purdue thing going on. But guess what? I have something else fun to tell you. This week is actually pollinator month. Now, if you've been following me on the domesticlifestyles.com for a while, you know we have a little garden going on. And as a matter of fact, I have some fresh herbs that I'll be using in this evening's recipe that came straight from the garden. So why am I even talking about this? Why am I talking about fresh herbs? The reason I'm talking about it is because in each order from Purdue, you also get, let me get it, you also get one of these packets of seeds. And so like I said, this week is pollinator month and you want the pollinators, the bees to come to your garden and make sure the pollen is going from plant to plant to make sure your garden is thriving. So isn't this cool? You can just get one of these um, each order, use it to put it in your garden and the pollinators will be nice and happy. So that's what's going on. That's why I love Purdue. And if we have time, I'll probably even show you some of the other stuff that I have in my freezer. 
But like I said, if you want to know exactly the product I'm using is the Purdue Dice Chicken Breast, and I'm also using the Purdue, the Purdue Boneless Chicken, which is not diced, and I just went ahead and diced that up, baby. I diced it up. Okay, so here we go. So let me tell you what's going on here. The chicken is in here. If you want to follow along, you can look at the recipe on the blog, but listen, I'm not even really following the recipe too much right now. I'm kind of, um, I like to say I cook by intuition, right? So I'm just patting my chicken breast dry. And don't worry, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm packing my, patting my chicken, dress, my chicken breast dry. Can you open that trash can for me, please? All right. So here's the chicken. And I am going to season it. I may have some tongs. I'm going to season it with a little bit of sea salt, which is healthier for you. Um, I know I didn't say adobo, but you have any adobo? Can you grab the adobo? If I can find some adobo in my kitchen, I always have. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you know, I, that's just how I cook. Wait, you, can't, you can take a girl out of the Caribbean, but you can't take the Caribbean out of the girl. That's just how it works around here. So I put some of that in. Even though I will be seasoning the broth, I like to season my chicken as well. And I washed it too with vinegar and all that jazz, right? So this is what we're doing. And the chicken is gonna sit here for a little bit, moving right along. Next thing we need to do is dice some fresh garlic. Now I know some people, no judgy judgy, no judgy judgy. I know some people like to go ahead and buy the garlic that's already diced and everything. Um, I'm not one of those people. I like my garlic nice and fresh. So right now I am peeling whole cloves of garlic, which is, garlic is really good for your heart, by the way. Hey, Heather, mom, what's going on? Haven't seen you in a minute, girl. I hope you get to try the recipe, your beautiful family. Hey, Dana. So anyway, I'm going to head and mince up this garlic. Now, this is the point here where my other camera above will be showing you the minced garlic and everything, but we don't have that yet. But don't worry, I'll show you what's going on. You don't have to worry, okay? You don't have to worry. I'm going to show you. So I am dicing up my garlic here, right? I have chicken broth going on the stove. It's already nice and warm. Hey, Laurelie. And babes, this is the point right here. I think I'm going to need you to help me move the camera to the stove. Okay, so what I'm going to do before we move to the stove, I'm going to put some peppercorns in with the chicken broth. So we will have the garlic, the peppercorns, bay leaf, and am I missing anything else? Oh, yes, bay leaf. And you know what I like? Because especially because of summer and this is like growing like crazy, I'm going to put some fresh rosemary in there and some fresh thyme because this these are the things that are really going to give your food the flavor so let's go ahead to the stove i'm ready to go you know are you ready all right let's roll to the stove okay okay let's see if they can see me here you need me, need me to move this uh. all right hopefully you can see me we're trying to get it situated here. One of these good days, I'll have my um, full on camera crew. You have to speak it into existence, okay? So I'm gonna have my full camera crew one of these days, but today is not the day yet, but it's okay. All right, so chicken broth going on the stove. Oh, there it is. You can see the steam, right? Chicken broth, you're gonna have to come, you know, hun, because I'm gonna have to pick that up. I'm going to put the, I'm going to have to have it tilted down like this. Can I, can I bring it closer? Oops. Okay. All right. Just take it off the stand for me and just hold it up so they can see. Just hold the phone. All right. It's shaking a lot, but here we go. So putting the time in here. This is the fresh time for my garden. Does that look good? Oh, it was shaking a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and get my bay leaf. Bay leaves. Here we go, putting that in there. If you're just joining or tuning in, 
I am making the best curry chicken salad. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I first had curry chicken salad, I thought it was like yuck. Honestly, I was still living in the Caribbean. I didn't know what the big deal was. But um, yeah, I'm on board now. And plus, hey, guess what? This is my recipe. So of course I'm on board. It makes sense, right? And I'm reaching over here to grab my chicken breast that I am placing. Listen, I'm gonna put the stove a little higher. Seem like we lost our boil here. Now, y'all don't be dipping out now because I see all types of live videos happen on Facebook and y'all tune in, boy, don't you tune in. The other day I was watching a video and then all of a sudden this lady came on and she was putting on makeup. Um, a senior lady, very beautiful senior lady, but I have to tell you, I wasn't really impressed with the makeup application, but why was I there watching? I was watching the video right along with everybody else because she was entertaining. So this is, you can learn something here. So make sure you, you keep watching, okay? So we put the chicken in, or I put the chicken in. I, of course, if you have the chicken cut in smaller pieces, it's not gonna take as long to cook, okay? That's the idea. I, so hopefully this will be ready by the time we're ready to log off this Facebook Live, right? I'm gonna put it on here and get it boiling. All right, so let's come back to the kitchen. Let's come back to the countertop here. So I can get my celery going. Oh, this is gonna about to lift up my, um, where's my cutting board? Ah, I left it over there. Let's do it this way. You have it? Okay, guys, so I'm gonna get my cutting board because I left it at the stove. So hang out with me a second. Let's get the cutting board going. And guess what I forgot to put in the chicken? I forgot to put the, um, the peppercorns. So let me go ahead and do that too. Gonna put the peppercorns in there. What are y'all making for dinner tonight? That's what I want to know. This is, wait, is this, I think this is too low, you know, because all I can see is bottom half, bottom half. Here we go. What are y'all making for dinner tonight? Type in the comments, let me know. It needs to be higher. Type in the comments and let me know what you're cooking for dinner, because I would love to know. See, can you put it up a little bit? All right, I would love to know what you're cooking for dinner. So moving on, so here we go. So here's my celery. Celery is right here. And I am going to chop some up. Smoked chicken. Oh, that sounds so good, Dana. So I take it you have a smoker. You have a smoker, Dana? The, I think you should put it a little higher, can you? All right, so I am chopping up my celery here. This is the part I would show you my premium, my really good, awesome chopping skills. But you can just imagine that I am doing the deed with this chopping. I mean, you can hear it, right? So obviously I sound like a professional. <laughs> oh, there we go, you can see it. Oh my gosh. You can see my chopping skills. You don't have to like guess anymore. Notice how I'm doing like a back and forth motion. Hey, Mamacita! Oh, my Mamacita is here. My Mamacita is logging in all the way from St. Thomas Virgin Islands. And I'm so glad to have her here. All right, so here we go. We go up, we go in, we're doing this chopping. And you know what I forgot to do? Get a bowl for this chicken once it's done. But it's not even done yet. So we're gonna have to chop this up some more. Do you like fruits in your uh, curry chicken salad? What did Dana say? She said she has a, ah, nice. That sounds so good. Y'all saw what Dana is making for dinner? Smoked chicken. I have to say, I've never made smoked chicken before. I have never made smoked chicken, but that sounds divine, divine, divine. So, these green grapes, these are what I will be using to put inside of um, the salad. So I'm gonna cut them in half. 
I literally asked my family earlier this week, like, can you? I'm scared of those big knives. No, you cannot be. It takes some practice. Yes, it does. I actually need a new set of knives. So if anybody is watching and wants to sponsor a new set of knives for the domestic lifestyles, hey, listen, I'm here and I know how to use them. Yeah, because these are kind of dull. So I'm cutting the grapes in half. If I recall, I wrote the recipe, I said one third cup of grapes, of green grapes, but we'll see what this looks like and then we will just add as we go along. So I am getting these ribs, grapes prepared while um, our chicken is cooking, okay? If you're looking at the recipe and you wanna try this recipe later, I wanna tell you a little secret secret, okay? So I tried these pecans. Do you say pecans or pecans? Let me know, do you say pecans or pecans? I say pe, what did I just say? I said pecans. I don't say pecans, so let me know. Obviously, I'm not from the South. I don't know, people, Southerners, I don't know what you say. But I love them either way. Whether you say pecans or pecans, I love them either way. So, the recipe calls for, the recipe calls for, you hear that? Boiling over. The recipe calls for some pecans, right? And I had to do some on my own because I didn't have, I didn't have the candied ones. So I candied some on my own. So here we go. This is, ah, so I candied some pecans on my own right before we started. And here they are. Now I put a link uh, in the recipe so you can actually buy them if you don't want to make them yourself. So, but I'll tell you what I did. It was really simple. So on the stove, I used about half a cup of brown sugar, about two tablespoons of water, one four teaspoon of salt, and I think that was pretty much it. And I literally just mixed it up on the stove and it was nice and bubbly and stuff. Then I added the pecans in there and then I put them on parchment paper. And this is the gorgeousness that we have happening here. So these are my glazed pecans that I made in my kitchen, like literally right before we went live. I wanna say I did it around um, 4, 15. The reason I did it beforehand because I didn't want you waiting for me to get these done. And I just wanna taste it, it just looks so good but then, you, then I'll have food all in my mouth. I'm telling you, this is the thing. You're cooking life, cooking life. I gotta lower the stove because it keeps trying to boil over on me. All right, so these are the pecans. We're gonna use them for our best curry chicken salad with grapes, okay? And the chicken is already going in the stove. It's already boiling and stuff, if you didn't know. And I wanna show you my greens, okay? Now, under domesticlifestyles.com, all these recipes, they always have a healthy, tasty spin. It's whole foods for whole living. And I really encourage you to have something um, raw, like raw foods with whatever you're eating. So in this case, the raw food or raw foods are these delicious, delectable greens. Straight from my garden, like literally. We picked these like 20 minutes ago. So look at the gorgeousness that is happening. Look at the gorgeousness of these greens. Did not have to go to the store. These are one of the most simple things you can make. Simple. If you're interested in gardening, I am not saying like I know it all and everything, but what I'm saying is I do have a post, 10 reasons why you should start a family garden. That is on the domesticlifestyles.com. And if we don't get to put the link in now, I'll put the link in later so you can get to making and growing your own greens. Okay, but this is deliciousness that's happening here. Also, um, I also picked right before we started some fresh oregano. That's good. Fresh oregano, fresh thyme. I got to keep checking my chicken because I swear this thing keeps boiling over. First time, and um, 
bunch of onion. Now the bunch of onion, this is one of those, this is an easier thing to grow, I would say, because it just keeps going and going and going. Do you see how long this is? Like, look, I mean, we have some shorter pieces in here, but, um, right, look at this. Look at that, right? So while the uh, chicken is doing its thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and chop some bunch of onion. That's what I'm gonna do. Instead of just waiting like that. Do you hear my chopping? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I just love, love, love cooking in the kitchen. As a matter of fact, I have been cooking for many, many years. Probably from the time I was six, I was in the kitchen. So what I'm going to check, give me a second. I am going to peek into that pot and see how that chicken is going because we have it cooking in some of those spices and the salt and the peppercorns, bay leaf and stuff. I was supposed to put some tarragon in there. So I'm going to put a dash of tarragon. Let me go and take a sneak peek. Don't go anywhere. I'm still going to be talking to you. So guys, I'm looking at this chicken. How long have we been cooking this chicken? I really intended to time this whole thing and I totally forgot because I really think the chicken is ready. Let me check it, okay? Let me check the chicken. Don't go anywhere. Let me check the chicken and see if it is ready for its camera debut. I think it's about ready, but while it is, I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes. While that's happening, I don't know if I told you this yet, but I did tell you if we had a little bit of time that I would um, show you some of the other things that I have from Purdue in my, in my freezer. If I can, some are in my fridge, some in my freezer. Um, I was telling you that this is a sponsored video by Purdue. And if you use my affiliate link, Purdue Farms forward slash The Domestic Lifestylist, whatever you order, you will get 15% off. And you know some of these places when you get 15% off, they say as a new customer, you get 15% off. On your first order, you get 15% off. None of that, none of that. Anytime you wanna order from Purdue Farms, okay, you will get 15% off as long as you use my referral link. Isn't that lovely? Yes. You know, I hook you up, I hook you up. Now listen, what I did not do, although I hook you up, you know what I did not do? I totally did not organize this fridge before this video. So what I will not do is show you all the way inside, but I'm gonna pull some stuff out, okay? So let's see here. Some of the things that I have recently gotten from Purdue while our chicken is going. They have Angus beef burgers, okay? They also, yes, you can get, you know Independence Day is coming up. You know you want to put a slab of ribs on the grill. Yes, you can get ribs from there too, right? Um, Nyman Ranch, St. Louis style ribs. So these are in my refrigerator. Let's see what's in the freezer, if I could just grab a couple things. Um, also, ground so sausage, right? So we have that. Ground beef, I told you I'm packed up. Ground beef, and um, you know you can also get, I have some in my freezer, so I'll just show you. Sweet Italian sausage, you have to. Listen, these days, you don't know what's gonna happen when you go to the grocery store. You really have no idea what they're gonna have, what they're not gonna have. I recommend in packing up your freezer, getting what you need, okay? And if you uh, buy items from Purdue, they offer free shipping over $119, if I recall. And I already showed you some sausage, okay. So this sausage, and I think that, oh yeah. Bacon. And then as you know, today, for today's recipe, I am featuring the boneless, skinless chicken breast, and then the dice cut chicken breast too. That's what we're using. And guess what? I think we're ready to pull it out. So let's do that. I'm gonna do that. So, you wanna, you think you wanna bring it over? Oh, you know what I need though? I forgot to get a bowl for the, um, the chicken salad. Give me a second guys, let me get a, let me get a larger bowl here. Hey, can you invite your friends to this, please? Yes, yes, I'm talking to you. Can you do me a favor and share this video with your friends, please? 
share the video because sharing is caring, okay? So go ahead and have a good old share party and share, share, share. All right. You can't, you can't, I mean, don't keep all this goodness to yourself. It's just not kind. It's not kind. So share it, okay? Because sharing is caring. Look for the share button. Share, guys. Share, share, share. All right. So as you, I'm off camera now because I am getting, no, that's fine. You don't have to come. I am literally scooping out the chicken. Actually, you should come. Maybe you, should, you think you should come over here so I could see, they could see it? Yeah. So we're going to bring the camera over here so you can see um, how I am scooping out the chicken from the chicken broth. Now, this is what you would do if you want to make your life easy. If you wanted to make your life easy, you would have a nice little bag in there that you put your herbs in, like a satchel, um, with your, your peppercorns and your bay leaves and stuff, and that way you don't have to scoop it out. But don't worry that I didn't do that. This is just my way of showing you what sometimes, you know, a different way to do it. But when you're at home, if you want to make your life easier, that's, a, that's how you can make it easier. I didn't do that because I literally was doing this real quick. All right, so we're going to go back over to the countertop. I'm not going to spend my time fishing out these, um, these peppercorns. But know they're in there. Okay, let me use my little fork. I don't know how long we've been cooking. Anybody time this? This, is not a, this doesn't take long to cook. So here's the chicken. Can you see the steam? Yeah, there's the steam right there. It is good stuff. Now, um, I do, I personally, I personally want to cut this up a little bit more. Not all, you know, because I want my meal to go further. So babes, if you want to show them, I'm going to cut it up a little bit more. Because I think these can, some of the chunks were kind of big. Because like I said, for the diced chicken breast, they were already cut. So that's not the ones I'm cutting for the most part. The ones I'm cutting are the ones that we cut on our own. And I prefer to have bite-sized pieces in here. Why are you looking at me cut chicken, right? Remember, please, to download my free e, e, my free e cookbook. 10 easy and healthy recipes that your family will enjoy. Lots of easy, holistic recipes in there, right? When you're trying to figure out what to make. Easy, peasy, and it's free. So why not do that? That's another thing that you should make sure you're doing. Make sure you're part of the community and you're getting all this goodness right to your inbox. Okay, and I don't spam. So let's just get that out of the way right now. I don't, I don't spam at all. So we're cutting up that chicken. You know, I, I want to share with you. You know, I want to just like share with you like that. I just want to like, here you go, like give you some right there. But um, they ha we haven't, f technology hasn't come around to a point where we can actually make that happen. So right now, how about this? I'm sharing my knowledge. I'm sharing my knowledge and that is how we're doing it today. So you want to know what I'm going to prepare this with? Today we're gonna have this with the greens, like I said. I may just put a little bit of gluten-free uh, bread on the side for this too, okay? I'm just, what, as you see me, what I'm doing, I was actually just fishing out some of the, um, or scooping out some of the peppercorns that I told you. I most likely won't get all, but it's all good. So now what I'm gonna do right here, we're gonna put, see, I just wanna show you what I'm doing. I'm going to put the chicken breast back into the bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Speaking of lemons, you know you could actually put lemon in here if you wanted to as well. So there we go. And I'm going to add my chopped celery. I try to cook with organic ingredients if possible, if it's available and if I can. Here we go with my bunch of onion that came straight from the garden. Whoop! Boop! 
Guys, are you sharing this video? Make sure you share it with your with your Facebook friends, your family, anybody who wants to cook more healthy, easy meals. Those are the green grapes that I told you about, all right? I'm gonna go off camera just for a little bit while you're watching my chicken for me, my chicken salad. And I'm gonna get some curry powder. Yeah, yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So I'm gonna get some curry powder. Is this not open? Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. Make sure you get really good curry powder now. Do you see this? No, well, hold on. It's like really bright. You want the bright stuff, okay? Don't be skimping on this curry powder now. You want the good bright stuff. So here we go. And ooh, it's like the curry powder fairy just came in here and just is like dusting the curry powder all in that salad, okay? Now, fresh ground pepper. Hey, listen, I really wish, like you could smell this. Like, I really wish you could smell it because it smells divine. Okay, my friends, divine. Where's my tarragon? Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tarragon in here. Now, again, if you want this recipe, be sure to go to the domesticlifestyles.com. Actually, I think we have the recipe already in the comments. So you can just check the link in the comments. That in the comments is also where you can get the link directly for Purdue and you can see what's going on there and buy whatever you want in terms of their quality, premium, protein, and you can get 15% off. As I said, I'm an um, influencer with them and using my link will get you 15% off. And if you purchase over $119 worth of product, guess what? Free shipping, baby! So this is fresh oregano that I'm putting in here. I am going to get a nice spoon and stir this honey up. Right? But you know what's missing? Type in the comments, what's missing? What is missing? Do you know what's missing? Do you know what's missing? I'm getting it right now from the refrigerator. I am getting my um, my mayo, so there we go. And I, you know, you could use whatever mayo you want, but I get the healthier stuff. You know how I am. Is this vegan? No, it's, uh, it doesn't say, it's, well, it says it's keto, paleo, whole 30, no soy, canola, cage-free, egg, sugar-free. That's the kind of stuff I use. But hey, if you don't wanna do all that, you don't have to. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Do what works for you and your family. But at the same time, I, I'm telling you that. But at the same time, I want to let you know, though, these recipes, the way I've written them, are specifically for health and wellness. It is meant to promote health and not disease, okay? You're not going to get inflammation and stuff from these recipes for the most part because we're pairing it with all good things now ideally right ideally what you would do after this you would put this in the refrigerator and let it set if y'all can wait for like half an hour but i obviously i'm not going to do that with you right you know i'm not going to do that are you if you're just coming in did you know that i made my own um glazed pecans they're right here can you see them Oh yeah, they're right here. So I made my own glazed pecans. I'm trying to figure out, do I typically mix those in or do I just put them on top? So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix them in. So you see them? Look at that, they came out so good. They were so easy to make. Um, like literally, it took me five minutes to make these and they're nice and candied, right? Candied or glazed pecans, I don't know what you wanna call them. So here they are. And I'm gonna just put some in there. I'm not going to put all in there. I'm going to break some up. I like texture in my food. You like texture in your food? If you don't, this is the way I do it. I'm going to put some texture in here. Hey, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining. I know. It's a really good recipe. And the recipe is available um, under Domestic Lifestylist. So, I'm getting all that sugar off my hand. So, 
So I'm going to mix this up. Now, obviously, you know, I didn't put everything in there because I want to put some as a garnish. So let me, I'm dusting off my hands. I'm getting a plate here to plate this up. And bam, here's my plate, right? Don't worry, it's not dirty. That's just a little stain. All right, so here's my plate. Fresh greens from the garden. Now, whatever you cook in the summer, what is from your garden is from the store. Make sure you put in fresh produce in there. So here we go. I'm going to go in and get a nice, hefty bunch. This is already um, clean. It was rinsed. It was spun. Voila. Look at that. Look at that, man. Look at it. Tell me you don't want some. And now I'm going to go ahead and scoop that delicious best curry chicken salad ever featuring Purdue chicken right on here. Let me get a little, let me get a little napkin. Hold on. Where's my little napkin? Because we, we're doing it like restaurant style. And when you're in the restaurant, you got to make sure you clean the plate. You got to clean the plate up, you know? So I'm just going to do something like that. All right, guys, listen. So now I'm going to come in, right? And put my glazed pecans. Just put a couple, just put a couple around the plates. Look at this. Look at this. Tell me you don't want some, huh? Tell me you don't want some of that. And I'm going to, I got some bunch and onion from my garden today. Right? And look at this. Look how we're going to finish that off. Right? Bam. And what we do again? It's another one. So hold on one second because I know you want a good old bite. So I'm going to get a fork for you because I share. I share. So, but what, wait, before I, like, but look at this though. Isn't this the, look at this. See, I know I tell you guys these recipes are easy. I know you, I tell you that they're wholesome. I know you, I tell you that you can do this at home. But the purpose of me doing this video today was to show you and cook with you and show you that I'm not making this up. That it's really, literally this easy for you to cook healthy, easy, tasty, tasty, holistic recipes at home. Please share with your family, friends, and loved ones. And let's bring the camera up so we can take a TV bite here. Yes! You know, I haven't cooked with you guys live in a long time. And it was about time. It was about time that we do it. No, this part is a little bit awkward because if I take a bite, my mouth is going to be full. But are, are you going to mind? Are you going to mind if I take a bite? Whoop. Oh, okay. Now I flip the other way. The camera flipped the other way now. The, ca the camera flipped the other way. So we're going to flip it back. Oh, uh, yikes. Okay, guys, give me a second. When my ca the camera dropped and now it's flipped. But anyway, I guess we're just going to have to finish it off with the camera in the other orientation, which is fine. So this is my TV bite. It's good. So, if you want this recipe, mm, be sure to go to the domesticlifestyles.com for more teas, easy, tasty, healthy recipes like this one. Again, thanks, for, thanks to Purdue for sponsoring this video. Make sure you use my link to get 15% off your order. Remember to write your own prescriptions for health and wellness and do it with finesse and style. Bye for now.